Friday, viral images pack outrage across Nigeria, showing images of children appearing in court for participating in a protest. Now, in case you forget, let me remind you that on August 1st, 2024, there was a nationwide protest that was organized and participated mainly by youth to demonstrate their displeasure over the economic and security situation in the country. In Kano State, I was on ground and I saw firsthand how this protest played out, I saw who participated, and I saw how it started peacefully and ended in chaos. Following the destructions of lives and properties across the country, so many arrests were made by the Nigerian police force. In fact, in some states, a 24-hour curfew was put in place to calm the situation. Now, coming back to the video we saw, it was said that over 100 people were arraigned before the court on Friday. Their crime? The police claim they collaborated with foreign nationals to disrupt national stability. The Inspector General of Police, Olukaide Ebetokun, alleged a conspiracy with a British national, Andrew Martin Wayne, aimed at destabilizing Nigeria, inciting violence, and calling for a military intervention. These boys that we brought to the court today, all of them are adults. Most of them are married men. None of them is a minor. Some of them are university graduates. The small, small kids you are seeing here, they came with some of their parents to come and greet their loved ones. They are not even the real suspect standing trial in this case. These boys were arrested in Kaduna and Zaria. Disturbing footages we saw shows some of the miners struggling to stand, appearing very weak from suspected malnourishment during their more than 60 days in police custody. Although the police have disregarded all this and claim that all is staged in order to tarnish the image of the Nigerian police force. Out of the 114 defendants, 24 are confirmed minors, at least from the videos we saw. Some as young as 13 years old, as confirmed the police public relations officer ACP Olomoyua Adejobi. Let's take a listen. Once you are more than seven, you can be charged to court. The only thing is that you need to follow certain procedures to do that. But none of them is less than seven. I think the, the, the youngest should be 13. The fact that you are 13 year old uh, doesn't mean you cannot be charged to court. The court granted bail to 67 of these minors with conditions of 10 million naira each and specific shorties. Many Nigerians see these conditions as unrealistic and punitive. Funke Adewe spoke on this to Channel's television. Uh, the justice said to uh, agree to the bail conditions, isn't it? The but bail conditions are very stringent. I mean, the, con the, the, the provision of the law is very clear on bail. Bail is not supposed to be punitive. Um, Dogo versus the state. The law is very clear on that. Now, these children who were supposedly um, um, being tried for, for treason and who were actually uh, protesting against hunger and suffering in the land, were given very stringent bail conditions, 10 million naira, um, sh two shorties, one of them has to be a civil servant with, of level 15, and, you know, the, the, um, a family member. I think that is really stringent, considering the fact that these children are coming from, you know, different parts of the, of the country, different parts of the north, where it's obvious that they can't even feed well. By the way, some of them, their parents have been around as well, and their parents are residing in different uncompleted buildings across the country. Mm. Yes, because so, their children, I mean, they don't, for a, for a while, they never knew the whereabouts of their children. Though government officials are dismissing the allegations that none of the children are underaged, dismissing the allegations. But footages and first-hand account tells a different story. Influencers and activists spoke directly with the children in the court. One of them said he is 14 years old, and another one said he is 10 years old, contrary to what we listened before. Now, this boy, 10 years old boy, right? Me and this boy, this I said. Apparently, these are the boys that the Tinubu government arrested, that they were flying Russian flag. All these children were still like this now, they go crazy. Because 
because they could not secure bail for them. They are going to the prison now. They could not secure bail for them. Now the question is this: What does this boy know about flag? This boy does not even have a basic education, let alone knowing that he flew a flag. So you are charging all these kids for treason. Which food? This boy only. Size boy. And all the way from Kano. Where they carry from? From Kano. Brought them from Kano to Abuja. Where's their parents? Their parents now go to cry. Nobody. From the beginning of this video, I stated that many Nigerians have started reacting to this. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party described what he saw in the viral video as horrible sins reminiscent of the Nazi concentration camp. Hmm. Peter Obi of the Labour Party also tweeted saying that from their look, they were poorly handled despite being in the custody of the federal government of Nigeria. Dr. Isa Bantami is former federal minister of communications and digital economy and a respected Islamic scholar in Nigeria. He wrote to the inspector general of the police, reminding him of the instruction of the constitution that no child shall be subjected to physical, mental or emotional injury, abuse, neglect or maltreatment. He therefore made three calls. Number one, he said the IG ensure the immediate care and protection of these children, identify and hold accountable those responsible for their conditions and prevent similar situation from occurring in the future. Leaders from Kano, including former Governor Rabi Musa Konkosu and presidential candidate of the uh, NNPP, described the condition of the children as stringent and absurd. Lawyer and activist Deji Adenju, who was at the court, pleaded with President Tunubu and the Attorney General of the Federation to discontinue their charges against the children. The Tunubu government should discontinue the charge. We make a passionate appeal to the AGF, you know, Baba Latif Bagbemi, that he should discontinue the charge. He should, he should take over the matter and discontinue against these children so that the children, so that the children can return back to school and the Attorney General of the Federation has the inherent powers to take over this matter under section 174 of the constitution that Baba Latif Fagbemi should take over this matter and discontinue the charge against the children. I, I cried in open court because of this grave injustice that has been done to these kids. Following that call, in a surprising turnaround, in the late hours of Friday, we saw the breaking news that the Attorney General of the Federation is seeking to take over the case of the children. We don't know yet is whether the president and the attorney general of the federation would discontinue the charges and release these children unconditionally. These children we saw on our screen took part in the August protest to demonstrate the hardship in the country. So many Nigerians have spoken that what they expected from the police and the federal government after arresting these children is to educate them but not to maltreat them and left them malnourished on the floor while in custody.